So as we discussed, most often when folks are searching for organic fertilizer, what they really mean is they're looking for fertilizer with natural components. Again, examples of these might be feather meal, bone meal, manures like biosolids or poultry waste. Um, and there's certainly some benefits, but also some caveats to using organic fertilizer. First of those, public benefits from a PR standpoint, again, to be able to be a contractor, having that message of kid-friendly, pet-friendly, environmentally friendly, definitely has its, it has its advantages. Operationally, organic fertilizer programs over time are certainly more efficient, less product is actually used, you're really building up the soil that is, in a sense, feeding the, the microbes that are feeding the plants. It just becomes this ecosystem uh, running on a lot less. There are some caveats. The challenges with an organic fertilizer program are that it's not that immediate result that you've been used to with synthetic fertilizers. That snap of green that you're used to seeing right after you apply. It takes some time to build up the soil to get those microbes living off of it, so oftentimes this can be up to a year, so it really takes committing to the program. Um, in addition, there's a big variance in the quality of organic inputs, so you know things on the air on the side of manures, biosolids, poultry waste, those are going to be a little quick, more quickly acting, but they don't last as long, they're not as high quality, whereas you get into the bone meals and feather meals, those are higher end, but again, take a little longer to get established and get going. So it's just some things to know when getting started on an organic program that are very different from traditional synthetic.